drought and famine Natural disasters What's up guys? I am back with another video In today's video I will be showing you guys how to make this very sexy plunging v-neck jumpsuit So if you guys are interested in seeing how I made this, make sure that you stay tuned so I first began by dividing my fabric in half and then dividing it in half again so that anything that I cut out on the top portion of my fabric is cut into four pieces. Okay, after you've done that, you're going to want to get your basic um, pants pattern. If you guys want me to do a separate video on how I kind of did my basic pants pattern, I definitely can, but this basic pants pattern is in a size four. So. What I like to do is you're going to go through and you're going to make those adjustments to this pattern to make it fit your client's measurements. So your client is, of course, you know, may or may not be a size four, but you want this to fit perfectly. So you want to use their measurements. Now, when using their measurements, you want to divide um, their hip measurement, their waist measurement by four. And that will be the measurement that you use to adjust your pattern. Now, for me personally, I like to add an inch seam allowance just because I use my surgery and I like to have a little bit of free will with it, but you can use however much seam allowance you would like to use. Now we are currently on to your bodice pattern and your bodice, cutting out your bodice is going to be very, very similar to what you did with your pants. Um, you want to take your bodice pattern and you want to adjust it to your client's measurements. So you want to use your top length measurement and you also want to divide your bust and your waist measurement by four and add your seam allowance. Now it is very important that you cut your bodice pattern out on that fold because it will allow you to have two pieces instead of four pieces. Now that you have two pieces, you want to take one of those pieces out, whichever piece you would like to be your, um, your front piece, and we will begin cutting out your V. Now with cutting off my client's V, I like to mark off the length that they want the V to be from the um, shoulder. And then you're going to try to make a diagonal line from their shoulder down to that marking that you made. Now, you want to start your V directly where your, um, where your circular part of the neck ends. And you want to end it at that mark that you put for your V. Okay, so now we will begin to sew your pants together. Um, 
So, if you guys want me to do a separate video on just strictly how to, I guess, sew pants or, like, make a pair of tights or something, um, I can do a separate video on that. But basically, all you're going to do is you're going to sew the pants up into the crotch and you're going to sew the whole side seam. Now you're going to go ahead and use my basic sleeve pattern and you're going to cut out your um, sleeve for your jumpsuit. Now when you cut after you're done cutting out your sleeve for your jumpsuit, you want to lay it flat and flip it right size to right size. And so right up that sleeve right until you get into your curvature. I'm sorry, you're going to slow up your inner sleeve until you get to that curvature. Okay, so this part, I am just kind of making those adjustments. Her sleeve and her pants were slightly too long. So I'm going to go in and cut that extra fabric out, leave an inch of seam allowance, and then hem her sleeves and hem her pants.
this is the end result i want to thank you guys for watching and make sure that you remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll be producing some new videos so stay tuned